I'm opening up the blinds to get a little bit of sunlight up in here. In my house right now, you guys will still see a little bit of weird stuff. Like we still have ladders around the house. We have this fridge that we have to take it out soon. Been able to take it out even so like they can come pick it up and stuff. Um, he finally started feeling better. Um, I don't want him to do anything crazy. Yesterday we put in the washers and the it was pretty easy but still they're heavy. The washer and the dryer. We have them downstairs so imagine if we had them upstairs. <laughs> that would have been crazy. That would have been crazy but that would have been a dream because then I don't have to be coming down with the baskets of clothes. If you have your wash, if you have a two story house and you have your washers downstairs, tell me your guys' tricks, tips and tricks. Tips and tricks, is that how you say it? <laughs> um, ignore my hair, I just look like a hot mess today. It's Tuesday, I'm not going anywhere. My kids just finished school so for the day, for the day. Um, basically we sit down like for an hour and a half two hours max and just do straight work and sometimes they get a little feisty they'd be like hey I don't want to do this today can we just skip it and I'm like no we can't skip a day of school because that's two hours like what a day are we gonna like have those extra two hours like no you guys can't skip it we have to do the work directly how our um, planner says like exactly how the day like for example for monday says you know to do this 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 and this like all those pages so we can't skip a day kids i'm sorry if you guys are watching this video in the future right, we can't skip a page <laughs> i wish we could skip 2020 it's getting crazier did you guys hear about the murder hornet bees or whatever it is like those things look creepy as heck and i'm just like no no like what else could happen this year what's the worst that could happen this year um it's been such an emotional i think i feel like it's been such an emotional such a crazy beginning to the year we're already in may it's today is cinco de mayo um we're already in may and just trying to stay positive because it's been a crazy year with the beginning that Kobe passed away, to me, I felt like that was so crazy because being such a humble person, being, you know, probably like a billionaire, I don't know if he was a billionaire, but definitely a millionaire. Like, not even he could have saved himself from that um, helicopter crash. So to me, that was crazy. His wife is so young. Today's her birthday. Oh, today's her birthday on Cinco de Mayo? That's cool. I wish my birthday was on Cinco de Mayo. Um, his wife is so young, 38 years old, 10 years older than me, do the math. <laughs> so right now what I'm going to be doing, I'm just changing the subject all around. I'm just talkative. I need someone to talk to. I've been locked in this house with kids, <laughs> with kids, kids and a toddler. I'm going crazy guys. Since we didn't have our washer and dryer, I couldn't wash any clothes or anything, towels and stuff. And that was mostly like for a week and a half so i have like buckets and buckets of clothes even though i washed before we took them off like we used we just used so much clothes it's crazy i have my two boys clothes so double everything i have my daughter's clothes i have my husband's clothes i don't mind doing my husband's clothes because he's such a hard-working man guy husband he's he's such a hard worker so to me it's like hey i'll do it <laughs> i'm your wife so i'll do it anyways i'm sitting in one of our oldest couch we've been having this couch for such a long time we need to throw it away too but i have to sit on it and sort the clothes out i have like three buckets in front of me and i'm just like ready to sort it out and get this done with usually i would wash you know my kids clothes one day and then the next day my clothes and then the next day like my husband's clothes which it makes it like into shorter loads every day like three times a week and it's easier you know you just don't feel like you're been washing all day um and it makes it easier to take everything upstairs even though it's it, it's a good workout so that's what we've been up to today we didn't go get lunches from the school it's just hot outside today it's 93 degrees it doesn't feel that bad but tomorrow's gonna be like 98 <laughs> around there 
which is gonna be crazy i wish i had the kids a pool i'm such a whack mom like i should have prepared myself like i should have prepared myself saw them online like a few weeks ago but when it was still not hitting the 90s but now it's like sold out everywhere and i'm just like great and then you try to look at amazon and they're so expensive 20 million thousand hours later later i am so freaking tired i've been washing all day i made food i made food for the kids i helped the kids with their school stuff and it's just been a crazy productive day okay i did all the almost all the laundry including like bed sheets and stuff like that i am like freaking tired i do want to at least finish putting away at least one or two baskets of clothes so that tomorrow i won't feel like god i still have to put all this damn clothes away i don't want you guys to look into that secret room just yet i'm not sure what we're gonna do of it right now but that'll be in the future anyways um it's painted and everything has carpet but we just use it as storage for now so right now i am going to be putting excuse you this is where i put like wipes anything anything like towels blankets etc so we finally have clean towels dude i was missing the clean towels if you guys are asking i get mine at home goods so I'm at Target, I think. Daughter was playing with the toilet paper. Do you know this is like treasure, Jaylene, during this quarantine time? Well, it was a couple of months ago. Now everybody could get toilet paper. But this is some of the worst toilet paper you could have. So this is how my kid's closet currently looks. They basically used up all their jeans, almost all their shirts, their socks. And I'm finally going to wash. These kids change about once or twice a day. So they were wasting so much clothes since they were getting wet outside and stuff so I'm gonna stock this up for them they have been asking for me to wash their clothes but since we didn't have the washers I couldn't wash their clothes so now I'm gonna stock it up for them I do have a video of how I organized at the beginning my kids closet I'll link it up around here somewhere right now I just fixed their beds because they, I did have to put the protector on and then their blanket or their fitted sheet so I don't like putting um, the other sheet, it's just unnecessary. So I just put um, the protector, their their fitted sheet, and then their, what is it called, the colcha. Um, their main um, their main blanket, so yeah. So I do have this all this basket that I'm going to put away, all this clothes. This thing is so heavy. It might be small, but it's so heavy. I have a bunch of hangers right here. So I'm going to hang all this stuff up. Hey, okay, now time for the jeans. Finally, the kids have clothes in their closet. Now they can stop nagging to me. Wash my clothes, mom. Wash my clothes. So yeah, it looks good. So I'll bet you guys like 50 bucks that this would only last like one day when it's already ruined. So my daughter's about 19 months and she's wanting to come down the stairs all by herself. Look at her grabbing to the rail. <laughs> Don't chase her because then she gets too excited. It's supposed to be like 96 degrees today here where I live in California. So it is supposed to be hot today. Today. Um, I don't think we're going to go for the school lunches unless the kids want to go. Even though I'm the type of person that I love to come downstairs and open the curtains and let the light come in. And all that stuff. But anyways, I think I'll open just a little bit. Just a little bit, right there. Honestly, I'm so hungry, I could eat like a whole cow right now. I could eat a whole cow. Bless you. I'm not sure that has a whole share cow, I could eat. I could eat it? My son said he knows somebody that has a whole cow. I hope he's not talking about his dad. I'm gonna put y'all right there. But my daughter is in the stage where I have to be after her I have to be you know watching her seeing what she's doing making sure she doesn't grab this why am I I'm focusing making sure she doesn't grab that should I just make pancakes or should I make egg too Jaden do you just want pancakes or do you want pancakes and eggs huh 
like right now she just got up on her high chair I'm about to lose it <laughs> I remember this I remember this stage with my two boys because my two boys basically grew up together they're seven and six right Jaden seven and six years old so they basically were like double the trouble I literally felt like I had twins and Jaylene took a shower this morning move your hands I'm gonna squeeze them move your hands she's like not understanding mueve tus manos do I have to talk to you in Chinese I'm gonna have to look for a recipe for banana bread Jaden we have, I always bring bananas. There's sometimes that we just eat them and then there's sometimes that they just stay there. So they're pretty good still, but I think I'm gonna leave them to make some banana, banana nut bread. That's one of my favorite breads to get from Starbucks, the banana nut bread. Girl, but that should be expensive just for one slice. For one slice it'd be so expensive, like two, three bucks. Probably even more. Huh, Jaylene? Jaylene, I gave her some little pieces of, um, what is it called? Synonym Toast Crunch. I've never gave her that type of cereal, but I gave her some so she could calm down and she could stay seated while our pancakes are being done. Ignore that pimple I have there. God, man, I don't even know where that came from. But anyways, like I told y'all, I have to be after her. I have to be making sure she's not grabbing anything. That she's not trying to go upstairs. It's hard. <laughs> I did not miss that stage when my kids were little. She's, uh... What are you, Jaylene? Are you 19 months? Or are you... I think she is. Because I don't think she's 20 months. Her birthday is in September... 12. Can you guys believe we're like almost halfway into the year? That is crazy. Like these past months have been crazy. Locked up in this house. Jaylene is such a moody, funny, silly little girl. <laughs> On the stand, Vivi. On the stand, Jaylene. Jaylene. Has anybody seen Jaylene around here? What are you doing? <laughs> she is so silly. But oh lord, when she gets moody, y'all better pray because she is something else. Give it to me. <laughs> Thank you. I don't want to hurt your teeth. That's why I don't pull it. So I'm still making pancakes here. Come on, focus. Do your job. Uh, still making pancakes. I did make some strawberries. I put, so I can put on top of my pancakes. I put butter and then I throw in my strawberries. I was trying to do them here on the stove thing, but it wasn't. They were coming out freaking ugly. So I just took out the usual comal. You know, where I heat up the tortillas. Maybe because I added water to the batter. I really don't know. Make a big one. So we are here uploading a vlog, but then at the same time, we're gonna eat our pancakes while we review that vlog. Anyways, my pancakes look so delicious with the strawberries on top. You guys, I miss IHOP. Anybody else misses IHOP? So we are gonna go pick up the lunches, we decided. So we came to get the lunch. We got our Mother's Day gift from the teacher. She prepared something for all the kids' moms. And we got Samuel, aka Jaden's award. So my son did receive the certification of achievements to Samuel. He met his reading goals. High achiever in reading. So good job, Jaden. This is what they gave for all of the lunch bags. They gave milk. They gave this fruit cup, which I believe is a pear. They gave this bread. Is it bread? I'm not even sure. Yeah, it is. It's bread. They gave some green beans. They gave pizza. And I love that they give little snacks like this because I could have this for the kids. For when they just want like a tiny snack. 
I keep forgetting that I have to take out some meat to make dinner. Like, who do I think I am? That looks a little better. So me and Samuel just finished two hours straight of school, straight of doing schoolwork. Two hours. That means doing math, writing, reading, work after work after work after work. We could have finished like in an hour. Okay, so I had to erase a few clips for my camera because i had no more storage but anyways it was so much work he was getting a little bit overwhelmed during the writing because he did have to write like three sentences three to four sentences so he was getting a little overwhelmed but yesterday he didn't he didn't want to do any work so today was a little longer than usual the stuff that the teacher sends us for them to learn I really, really want him to be paying attention and to understand what, you know, I'm trying to explain to him. Like, if I was his teacher, it's not just like, do this. It's not just like, here, here's everything. You do it however you can. No, like, I sit there, I read word by word, um, getting him to understand what, you know, pronouns means, nouns, and stuff like that, you know? um it's pretty fun but then sometimes it could be a little overwhelming because they know that you're not their teacher teacher so they kind of try to be smart butts and be like well i'm not in class right now so i can move i can be dancing and i tell him no please act like if you were in class you know your teacher wouldn't like it if you're acting funny or doing funny faces or trying to distract somebody in class but, you know, they get the hint, they get the work done, and they're doing pretty good. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I don't think they're going back to school. I'm not even sure. I think we're just going to have to finish Mama. the school year. Mama! Sorry, I'm talking too much. Now we came to take a nap. I'm in the place where the magic happens. <laughs> oh, you're so cute, Mama. You're so cute. You took a shower today, stinky butt. So pretty much that's our days during quarantines. Wake up. We wake up. We eat breakfast. Clean a little bit. We go for the lunches. Come back home. Do the, um, thank you. Your kisses are the best. Do the schoolwork and, um, finish schoolwork and then start cooking. Or either if I'm doing anything between that which like cooking cleaning whatever but usually when i'm when i'm um helping them with their schoolwork, like i have to be like right there next to them, making sure that they're actually doing the work if not it would take all day for them to finish <laughs> stop with the kisses oh your kisses are the best um so yeah that's pretty much it that's our pretty much our quarantine days i wanted to show real quick what the teacher got us for Mother's Day, she actually, I'm not sure she sent these to get made. I'm not really sure, but it has my son's name and then like his face, his head. I wonder if it is him. Probably, I kind of recognize those hairs in the back. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's crazy. Thank you so much. We need to send her a Starbucks card. <laughs> so we're making the lasagna already. My son is helping me vlog. So I've never made it, so I don't even know if it goes meat, cheese, pasta, meat, cheese, pasta. <laughs> I was going to shred the cheese, but that's too much work. I don't have that time. I have hungry kids. Is that too much cheese? No, that's a good, huh? that's a good amount of cheese. You want it to be cheesy? I'm not putting ricotta cheese on it. I don't like it myself. Mm. Jaylene loves Alexa, and of course I do have the camera closed you could open it and close it but she loves the alexa i didn't know you could watch videos on it too I have lasagna in the oven but i also have these little packets of veggies that they give at the boys school basically uh broccoli and carrots so i do have them in here that they're gonna how do you say it they're gonna they're gonna cook they're gonna get softer which is like um a little bit of water at the bottom and Al vapor se dice. I don't know how to say it in English. But I do have three packs left. Gonna save those for another day. I did use one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Okay, so I have my lasagna and my veggies. My husband already ate. I decided to start washing dishes while my daughter's asleep. 
because if I don't catch up, then I'm so late here in the kitchen cleaning. It is 7.41 right now, so it's still good timing. It's not too late, but I do want to clean up the stove. I'm the type of person, like, I like to clean up the stove. I like to clean up um, the areas here around the kitchen. So, yeah, I'm going to eat my food, though. Just right before she wakes up, she should be waking up any second. I'm still watching my the show that I talked about in the other day in the vlog, the Marriage at First Sight, Marriage at First Sight on Netflix. So yeah, that one's really good. Mm -hmm. 